Dragon boat racing is a canoe sport in which 12 people paddle in a small boat and 22 people paddle in a regular boat. It was the first time I had attempted this activity, and it seemed intimidating since we were the youngest members of the team. I was concerned that we wouldn't have the arm strength to keep up. The only rowing I've ever tried is the rowing machine at my gym. However, we were eager to give it our best effort. Our coach walked us through the five different paddling techniques. The five paddling techniques he demonstrated to us are the fundamentals of dragon boating which include the forward stroke, the draw stroke, the cross draw stroke, the stern price stroke, and the J stroke. The preparatory procedure is lengthy and demanding on both a mental and physical level. The race is a personal commitment. We gave up half of our weekend to train. Each practice session is at least two hours and throughout practice, we will paddle without returning to the shore. We were first very reluctant to experiment with various paddling techniques. When we initially attempted continuous paddling for 20 counts, the majority of us were disappointed by how difficult it was. We struggled to keep our common paddle at a steady pace. Finding a consistent beat to paddle with was very tough as a whole bunch of novices. This is when the drummer sits at the bow of the boat and assists the crew in communicating by passing orders at the front of the boat. As we practiced, the movement became more natural, and as our confidence grew, we were finally able to locate our ground and paddle in a more synchronized way. The dragon boat is a team sport, and it is only with mutual support that we can achieve higher heights. Whether for better or worse, this event has aided in the development of my character. I'm glad to have met and worked with each member of the team. Perhaps the most endearing aspect of dragon boating is that it places a premium on cooperation and synchronization rather than on the strength or skills of individual paddlers. It is one of the greatest team building exercises since it does not need athletic ability.